Kerry Pinky. The next item uh, is 19.4, question on notice about the horse train. Uh, that the recommendation that question on notice from Councillor Charles regarding the horse tram operation and the answers there to be received. Councillor Charles, you're happy to move that way? I am. Um, whilst moving, I'll, I'll just mention again, it's, uh, it's December, it's Christmas time, so here's another question declined, which uh, I asked or tried to get um, covered in the special council meeting where you told me that I would need to have and bring it to a regular council meeting because it wasn't appropriate that the agenda was set and however else it was explained, and so I did. I wrote down my questions as soon as I got home from that council meeting in, in time to have them placed on this agenda and now unfortunately it seems as though you are a very secretive man and um, you can't give me an answer because this is yet even more improper or just as improper as the previous ones. Question being, this matter was considered by council at a special meeting. Yes it was and I, uh, I begged we went out of meeting procedure at that special meeting in order to have a discussion and I was shut down again. I think there's a lot of things that, uh, fortunately this has made it into the agenda so the public can decide for themselves. Thank you. Thank you. Looking for a seconder. Councillor Chigwitton, thank you. Open for discussion. Councillor Marshall. Well, predictably, once again, I'm going to say the same thing. I support Councillor Charles on this um, question declined. It says here the Mayor has declined the following question per Clause 9.6 of the Local Government Procedure and Meetings Regulations 2013, blah, 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 as he has formed the view that the question is improper. How can a question from an elected member questioning arrangements for a very important uh, part of our business over Christmas that loses money hand over fist, how can it be improper? We're not asking where the particular par person who's going on leave uh, is going uh, for the weekend, if he's taking his girlfriend, etc., uh, etc., et anything like that. No personal questions. We're simply asking why someone chose to take time off at Christmas when it's the most busy time and it's going to possibly create a problem um, for the horse uh, tram uh, um, management. I mean, we're only asking these questions in... in um, support of the community's right to know and they, they obviously have a right to know and they'll look at this now, anyone who's run a business will say Christmas, busiest time of year and they let the, the leading hand go off on holidays and then they won't even tell anyone why they did it I mean, Peter is quite right you just invite the stuff on yourself, you really do Thank you Any other discussion? Any other discussion? All those in favour? That's, sorry, all those against? That's Kerry, thank you. Yes, Mark. Through you, Your Worship, I'd just like to point out that in relation to both of those uh, previous items, the offer is there to come in and uh, inquire through appropriate channels to, uh, to get that information. Um, you know, I'm not particularly comfortable about talking about staff for holidays in the public forum and uh, having them come back from holiday and find out their house has been broken into because everybody knows they're all on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, Captain Marshall. Mr Mayor, I, look, I'm, I'm sorry, that was totally inappropriate, that comment. I mean, you know, uh, you can't expect... Um, all, all the people in the town have a right to know this information. You're not giving out personal information. You're not telling them the, the address of the staff members so people can go around and burgle him. I mean, you, 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 it's just like the, the comment you made before. Uh, council can't simply dismiss 11,000 plus electors just because they haven't submitted to a public consultation process. So if you follow this logic, we should allow 11,000 people to come in here, come up to the elected members' office and view the documents. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks,